in particular for the City of Kingston, stormwater is a really important issue and very important that we manage it. We have a huge number of houses that are affected by flooding. So for us, stormwater is a, quite a challenge in the City of Kingston in, term of, in terms of drainage infrastructure um, and impact on our residents. We've got 13 kilometres of foreshore. So for us, stormwater is not just something that passes through our municipality and then disappears. So that's really important for us that we look at water quality as well as water quantity when it comes to stormwater. One of the other challenges for the City of Kingston is in relation to climate change and climate adaptation, which means that we'll be more vulnerable to storm surge events and potential sea level rises. The approach Kingston takes which is really important is a holistic approach to catchment management. And we look at all streams of water, both um, storm water, uh, the reuse of water, ground water conditions, um, sewage, to look at how it all works together in the catchment so you don't treat things in isolation. So you look at the big picture and get the best outcome. It's about recognising that water is a real asset for the city of Kingston if, it can be, if we manage it the right way. So that's why City of Kingston is starting to move away from thinking of stormwater as a, a challenge to be managed and more towards an opportunity that to be used with the community. Partnerships are really important for the City of Kingston, so that's partnerships within the, the council itself, but also partnerships with the federal government, state government. We've been very lucky to um, have significant investment from both federal and state government. We also partner with uh, Melbourne Water, and they've obviously got a, a real interest in water quality as well as in water quantity. The relationship with um, Kingston City Council from Melbourne Water has been really strong and we would really like to continue that relationship going into, into the future. It's been really great to establish those relationships so that we can start to um, not just talk about the theory of uh, water sensitive urban design or the, the theory and strategy of integrated water cycle management but actually starting to put some projects on the ground so that City of Kingston can be a real leader in demonstrating how these things can work. Our council have really upped the ante and have started to do some, some really good work, particularly in terms of the master planning approach that they've got across council, which prioritises their capital works program, um, allowing them to get the best bang for buck when they want to put new strategic projects in across the municipality. We've had a big concentration on capital works in terms of uh, treating stormwater to remove pollutants from in the bay. In terms of flagship projects for Kingston, I suppose I can't go past the biggest one, which is at Namajira Park. Uh, essentially, what we've been able to achieve out of that project is protection of properties downstream from the retarding basin, areas that used to be uh, impacted by localised flooding. Further to that, we've also been able to expand some of the open space areas through there by providing a source of uh, alternative water. So this particular project in uh, William Fry Reserve, Kingston Towers that we're standing with, is a great example where we've worked with a developer. We had a situation where we've got a, a lake here that through the drought dried up, and we had a developer that needed to manage their planning permit requirements of treating stormwater on site. What we did was negotiate a win-win situation where we could use up a little bit of space in the park to treat stormwater reuse that stormwater to uh, discharge that into the, the lake. The developer benefits because they, their residents get to live near a great park with all of this green infrastructure and City of Kingston benefits because it um, improves water quality and also reduces flooding risk. Those green assets that we have in Kingston are a really important um, part of bringing the community together and that idea of community development and, and um, community building. They're not just about uh, the physical activities that take place there, but they're about people interacting and living together.